all right so it's Ricky repairs back it again today we're working on the Mitsubishi Eclipse GS 2.4 four cylinder all right so we have a check engine light on so go ahead and connect your scanner let's go ahead and retrieve the code so the only code we have so far is this one P0403 exhaust gas recirculation control circuit all right let's go ahead and check under the hood all right first thing you want to do is open the hood all right let's go under the hood now so once you're under the hood so you first thing you want to check is the connection on the EGR solenoid see the connection right there Just get a better view. That's the EGR. This little solenoid. Make sure the connection is in. Alright, let's go and disconnect and connect it back in. Let's go ahead and remove this little solenoid. So what we're gonna do is just remove it. So there's a bolt right here. Let's go ahead and loosen that. You can go ahead and just disconnect it and connect it back then. But just for this purpose, I'm just gonna pull it out, show you how to do that. So mine might be like dusty in there or something that's not making the connection no more so I'm gonna pull it out so I can clean it all right let's go ahead and do it now so the size for that bolt is a 10 millimeter all right let's go ahead and remove it so I put my ratchet in there as you can see that's it let's go ahead and remove it by hand be careful with that bolt you don't want to drop it there So after you loosen it, just go ahead and remove it by hand. So there you have it. So I fold it out now. So once you remove that one, there's going to be another one on the side right here. Can't really see it, but. Alright, so that little sucker right there. So it's gonna be the same size, size 10 millimeter. All right, let's go to remove that. All right, so once you loosen it, just go to remove it by hand. Okay, so there you have it. Just gonna pull it up now. This little lock right here. This black one. That one right there, just go ahead and press it down. Or you can just pull it. Just come right off. Alright, so as you can see it's off now. Let's go ahead and disconnect those little holes right there. The one that goes on top. And bring it out. Top one is this one. Go ahead and pry it out. Just be careful because you don't want to break it. Because when you're old, it's fragile. Alright, just gonna pry it out and pull it out. Alright, so before we continue with anything, just go ahead and spray your WD 40 on it or your freeze off on that little hose on the top right there and the bottom one as well. So you can lubricate it so the hoses can open up. Alright, after that, just go ahead and remove that little valve right here. Let's 
So you don't need to pull that out. You can just disconnect it from right there. This one, you don't di disconnect all those little hoses. Just gonna pull it out like that. After that, the one you need is on this side. All right, so there you have it. So just go ahead and disconnect it. Or you just loosen it from the back right here. That's the last bolt that's holding it. All right, so I'm gonna disconnect mine. There you have it. So I'm gonna grab my spray, my electrical cleaner spray, and just spray that off. Hopefully that was a problem. If not, I will have to replace the little solenoid. I'm just gonna spray that. So probably my spray Zacking up. After spray it on there, just let it dry it out. Hopefully, that removed any dirt, dust in there. I'll just wait a couple of minutes and put it back in. I'm just gonna put it back in. So make sure it clicks in there. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, but it clicked. I'm just gonna connect everything back on. Don't forget this little part that goes in here. And your hoses, it goes up here. And the one in the bottom as well. All right, just gonna get this one first. All right, so go ahead and connect everything back on. The hose on the top right there, and the one in the bottom. After that, let's go ahead and tighten the two 10 millimeter. All right, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go to hand tighten it first. So it's back in. Now let's keep the other side. That one right there. All right, so once you have both, go ahead and tighten it with your ratchet. Once you tighten both, you're done. All right, just go ahead and drive the car for about five minutes. You should come back on. If not, that was it. It was just dusty, dirty. If not, you won't have to clean that little solenoid, replace it. So I will include the part number under the description. All right, that's it for today. So if your check engine light comes back on, you will have to replace that solenoid. I will include the part number under the description. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. So the last thing to do is Go ahead and erase the code. Let's go back. Just gonna clear the codes. It's processing. Just right there. Pending fault code permanent. So once it's clear, this little check mark is gonna go green as you see. Alright, let's go ahead and run the car for about 5-10 minutes. 
if it doesn't come back on, you're good. If it does, you will have to replace that solenoid. All right. Just a quick update on the car. So it was just that. You might have to replace your EGR solenoid. If you keep getting that code, or just check the connection, make sure it's connected all the way. All I did was clean mine, unplug it, plug it back in, and the check engine light never came back on. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.